Next door there's a lady whose husband's at sea, a charming young lady named Wood. No seldom she speaks of her dear darling boy, and while he's at sea, can you guess where is me? Who <laughs> cheers her up while her husband's away? Why me, me, me? Who shows around all the shops every day? Why me, me, me? Who sweeps the kitchen, the carpets, the mat? Who feeds the bird and looks after the cat? Who's very useful for this and for that? Well, it's me, me, me. <laughs> When they see a plane come over, no pigeons in the sky at all. What happens when they see a plane come over? What does your pigeons do? What do your pigeons do? They look up and they can see it from ten miles. They mind about half a mile. Oh, but listen, you'll lose the supersonic sound. You'll get these supersonic sounds and you'll crash the sound barrier. And it only bangs within two miles. Oh, no, I'll show you. Two miles. It comes across. It comes across. Look here. Look here. It's got to be felt. Right, that's all I want about this stuff. How does a pigeon? How does a pigeon find this way out? Nobody's ever found it. This Nobody's ever bang, found it out. This supersonic bang only, only no. radiates over two miles. Why, well, answer me then. Tell me then. Why is it? Two miles up, two miles down, pigeons. and two miles eight from. Why are you losing the pigeons? You don't mean to tell me that a pigeon caught to your plane two miles away? Oh, he can see him, but he don't know he's going to break the sound barrier, does it? Yeah, only a stripling. It was a friend of mine. He got married at the Loy Church. It's been 53 years ago. And uh, the vicar said to his wife, uh, will you take this man to be your lawful wedded husband? In a low tone of voice, she said, I will. And now repeat this after me, I will honor and obey. She says, I will honor and obey. He said, no, you must say obey. He says, only on with the job, I'll make her say, oh, and I'll get a warm. I'll tell you the ruination of the man, sorry. Not be you. I'll tell you the ruination of the man. Well, you'll be a gift of the man. Oh, ruin. A big woman. That's it. A big garden. And a big pen of pigeons. That's the ruination of anybody, that is. Well, you're not, you're not How about you from the other two? It's, it seems to be a life, a day's work, and a night's drinking. It's, it's life to us. It always has been. This way, the way our fathers lived, and this way we live now. We don't, we don't try to escape. That is the only thing in life that is fair, is death. It is the only fairness in life. There's no one escapes that is death. Everybody's born to a duty and, uh, and we're born to load pint in a day's work and the less it, we don't want to get out. We want to get out on it. I should like to go to China. I should like to live it up, get on the Riviera. But can we all do it? It'd be overcrowded. There were traffic lights on the Riviera one time, oh, on the river. Well, it couldn't all get there. So there's somebody got hanging the Turk's head. <laughs>